Hey guys, Chasta here. You're watching Soundwaves TV. I am fully geeking out to have the ladies of Zepparella in the house. I have loved them forever. Thank you so much for coming on Soundwaves TV. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. This is amazing. This is right there next to interviewing Led Zeppelin. I mean, it's just right, <laughs> just right there. So let's go down the row, introduce yourself and who you are in the band. My name is Clementine and I am the drummer. I am Anna Christina, and I am the vocalist, front person, and harmonica player for Zepparella. I'm Gretchen. I'm the guitar player. Okay, so whose idea was it to go, we're going to do this band, and let's go for arguably the greatest band of all time? Who started this idea? That was you? me. That was you, the drummer, okay? <laughs> Where did this idea come from? I wanted to learn Bonham's parts. I thought, okay, well, how do I get better as a drummer? Let's learn the best drum Start parts. at the best. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I happened to um, run that bo that idea by Gretchen, and she said, can I audition for the guitar part? <laughs> nice. I, <laughs> I love said, it. said, knock it off. You're in. Oh, no. wow. Is that easy? Yeah. It was really nice. I was totally not qualified. But. Oh, I doubt Neither that. Neither was I. No. <laughs> no one really was. It was a new thing. Yeah. That's that incredible. 15 years ago. Wow. So how did you get on it and on the mix? Well, we had a mutual friend. Okay. Somebody that I had gone to school with. He was a, a guitar player and a songwriter. And uh, he had worked with Clementine. Mm -hmm. And they were looking for a singer. And he and I were having a drink one night. And he's like, do you... Uh, do you, do you, do you want to sing some Zeppelin? You want to tour? You want to use something you might want to do? And although uh, that wasn't really where I thought I was heading, I was in more of a jazzy bluesy world. Okay. Um, I was a big Zeppelin fan and uh, there's so much, it's so many elements in the jazzy bluesy world in, in Zeppelin of course. that I was like, yeah, let's, let's, let's try this out. That was yeah. like right, right up your alley. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's such a mega, it seems intimidating to me. Of course, I'm not a musician. I'm just a lover of music. I'm married to a professional drummer. So I know all about it and I am a DJ on 1077 Bone. So music is my life, but I don't do it in the way that you guys do it, especially plant to me because plant, the singer is like, that's so intimidate but you kill it can oh, i just say that kill well. it if you have not seen it trust me ah, well thank you yeah yeah so we're a work in progress every day yeah for me. yeah and yes from the moment i started i felt that and i i practice constantly at home i mean this yeah. is a daily working evolving growing process of course is to take that on and do it authentically and and do it in a way that that really comes across like it's like it's like it's meant let's talk about how you tour um it's you do everything right we do everything really, clementine does everything <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm getting the sense you're the boss lady are I'm you the, the boss, boss lady she's the boss lady the mistress, the boss. Yeah. Yeah. The mistress. Yeah. i like that yes. okay yeah. so when you tour it's in a van uh, we have a beautiful Sprinter van, mm -hmm. Mercedes Sprinter van. Nice. That's all tricked out for us. Yes. And, um, yeah, we. Uh, it's just the four of us um, yeah. that travel around. You do all your teching, you do all your setup, your all your gear, everything. Mm -hmm. That's. Mm -hmm. I love that. I mean, we have wonderful fans who have come to show up at every show and really help us. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there. I have to give props to the wonderful people who help. Yeah, what mm -hmm. I love when I s I've seen you guys multiple times, I told you I saw you in Reno years ago, probably like maybe the first year you had been together and I was so amazed. But what I like about you is that you do Zeppelin in a traditional style that like every Zeppelin lover loves to hear, but you really put your own spin on it. You know, especially like with guitar, I'll hear like, whoa, you just go off on this really amazing um, riff that it, it blows your mind. Is that something that happens organically? Because you guys don't do a lot of rehearsal I understand. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we gig frequently enough that we stay pretty current with the material we have. Uh. If we're introducing new material, we'll either schedule a rehearsal, like either the day of the show or the day before the show, before the gear's loaded up into yeah. the van. Yeah, And uh, Or we'll just try to get a long sound check where we can run it. But if everybody's done their homework, it's really just a question of verifying that, you know, that we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the improvisation, one of the things that's so fascinating about Led Zeppelin and so much fun, which is, I think, why we're still really connected with what we're doing after years of doing it, is that by ignoring the improvisational element, you're doing the music a disservice. Led Zeppelin was so improvisatory. That's and what, so, right. That's yeah. what they were known for. Right. And so the, the goal, at least for me, is always to, to deliver what 
what I want to hear as a fan and what people want to hear as fans. So it's like, if it's that solo, I'm playing that solo. Mm -hmm. But maybe we extend that solo or maybe yes. at the end we put an improvisation section. Um, where Zeppelin improvised, we'll improvise. So like, yeah. say the top of Dazed and Confused, I'll hit all those you know, harmonics that right. everybody wants to hear, but then I'll do something that's spontaneous and that that's me, but also me um, within the realm of Jimmy Page, mm -hmm. right? So I'm not gonna mm -hmm. try to do something that's out of context. Right. I play different it wouldn't types. make sense with right. Jimmy's plan. Right. I understand, right. yeah. Um, and we all do that. Yeah. And it's uh, it keeps stuff um, exciting and it makes that, it, ma it means that every show is a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. Have this is kind of a stretch, but I hope the answer is yes. Have any of you met any members of Led Zeppelin or gotten close or yes. any stories? You have? <laughs> oh, I was like, okay, tell me all about it. So no, there's no, I mean. No, we have. Oh, we you have. have. We you have. have. Yes. I'm sorry, I thought you were kidding. No, no, we have. That's amazing. So you, Clem wow. and I met Robert Plant like long enough to be Sorry, like. I gotta sit down. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't. Um, what, I mean, what do you say to Robert Plant? What do you say? What did Hi, you Robert say? Plant. Robert Plant. Hi, Robert Plant. Um, you're Robert Plant. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was super generous he with was, his yeah. time. He he immediately said, "Okay, who's the drummer? Do you want to hear Bonham's stories?" You oh, know. Oh so, my gosh! Yeah. So How amazing. I mean, come on, that's just so awesome. he's exactly like you would want him to be. Then exactly, yeah. so yeah. easy going, yeah. and he's just you know, I just felt like I could interrupt him and ask him another question. Like mm -hmm. I've heard that story. How about this? I know, right. and, and I was that, like, that, that oh was my god. <laughs> I was yeah. like, Clem, do not interrupt. <laughs> I know, but I wanted to hear some inter some stuff I hadn't heard. And he probably appreciated <laughs> story. that. You know, well, like, that's that's thanks, how we made it thanks. feel like we were just having a conversation. It wasn't like, yeah. What was the element of how you met him? Like, what, what was the situation? He was playing um, at the Greek theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, is that where we, well, that's where we met him the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that statement. That's where I met Robert Bland. Yeah, the first that, and time. the second time too. Right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, both times the same place. Uh, his guitar tech, I had met through a mutual just friend or whatever, yeah. and uh, he hit me up when they were in town. He's like, "You want to come to the show?" I'm like, "Yes." That's incredible. <laughs> and then he was like, "Do you want to meet him?" And that's that's yeah. how that goes. Yeah. Wow. Because yeah. I just have him. He's like otherworldly in my brain. Like maybe he levitates when he comes into a room <laughs> or something like that. But it sounds like he's very. He definitely has an energy. That's yeah. For sure. yeah. 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 He's very just, elegant. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. you embody quite well, Aww. I must say. And your harmonica playing. Yeah. Harmonica is my favorite instrument of all time. So when you get on that thing, I'm like, get it, girl. Oh, she learned that for this band. You're kidding. Yeah. No. 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 I yeah. learned it when. What? It's like we want to play the levee. Okay, I guess I'm getting a harmonica. A lot so, of harmonica playing in the van. I yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you know what's what I was not expecting yeah. is that there's so much breath that that you need for harmonica. Oh yeah, that it's a great little. Uh, com you know, comrade for singing. Yeah, because singing is so much about breathing. Yeah, and I'll notice that as soon as I'm after I've done a really big harmonica solo, my voice is all juiced up and ready to go again. So they sort of give to each other. Oh, that's interesting. In the coolest way. Yeah, so I'm just loving it. Wow. Well, you, so thank you. You girls are amazing. I should just mention you can't see him, but there's the cutest little dog fellow down here. His name is what? Henry Kissinger. Here, in <laughs> <laughs> if you hear snorts, it's not coming from it's my me. butt. It's <laughs> actually there's a dog underneath my feet <laughs> he's adorable you ladies i could sit and talk to you for hours you are fascinating you're amazing on stage if you have not witnessed zeparella live you have to you must you can look them up where do you want people to go where do you direct people to uh, online zeparella.com okay and zeparella is spelled like barbarella not like cinderella there you go so z-e-p-p-a-r-e-l-l-a yes and we need to give a shout out to your bass player Holly West. Holly West. Holly can be here. so much. <laughs> I know. She Hurry lives in Dallas, us. Texas, so yeah. she's not here today. So unfortunately, she couldn't fly out from Dallas to be here, which we understand. So Holly, thanks for doing what you do with these ladies, and thank you guys for rocking. It's incredible. Thank, thank you. you. Zeparella. All right, you guys, we'll be right back. You're awesome. watching Soundwaves TV.